In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to get data or to create asynchronous actions using Redux Toolkit. You know that we need to create actions that allow us to fetch data from ABI or something. We have that ABI that get us a list of books. Okay, we've used it before in Redux course. Let's try to fetch that ABI using Redux Toolkit. Okay. So here in our store, let's create box action dot ts and let's export our first action export const get box it will be equals a great method called create async thunk create async thunk we can import it from redux toolkit okay this create async thunk takes two arguments the first is the name of the action and it's a unique name let's make it for example get box the second is an async function those are our two arguments in this async function we just create our ebi call so let's create our ebi call const response equals to fetch or to make it simpler i'm gonna use axios because axios is simpler so let's install it real quick yarn add axios yarn start okay so let's use axios let's import axios from axios because axios is simpler than fetch and i want to make that course simpler so i'm gonna use axios axios.get dot get and we just put the url of this of this endpoint that url then let's log our response dot data okay to see it and just return also response dot data Instead of type response to data, we can destruct it like that, just like that, and remove response dot and response dot. Okay, I think that's cleaner. Okay, and maybe we have some errors when we make this ABI call. So to detect the errors, let's just put them inside try catch blocks. Let's add try. We're just gonna try that code. Okay. If we have any error, just add a catch block. Inside the catch block, let's console.log our error. Okay, let's finally format our code. Now we have done with the action. Let's go and create our reducer. Let's create inside store box reducer.ts. Okay, let's first import our create slice create slice from redux toolkit let's initialize our initial state let's export our slice export box slice equals to create slice and we just to add a name let's make it box we forgot to add here a const okay that's the name of it we have here also the initial state it's it will be the init state okay third we have here reducers let's make it empty object and here is the key extra reducers those extra reducers are important because we're gonna handle our async actions using those extra reducers okay so let's let's make it like arrow function extra reducer take a builder Finally, let's just export that reducer. Export box slice dot reducer. Now we have done with our reducer. What's the next step? The next step just uh, just use this builder dot, and we're gonna add case. Okay. In this add case, we just add here the action name. The action name called box action 
get box okay so let's get box dot we have here three options fulfilled that's mean that we got the data successfully we have bending in this case we're gonna show a loader or something and we have rejected rejected that's mean we have a a fetch ebi error so let's add the first case is fulfilled what are we gonna do when the our ebi when we get the data from ebi correctly we just add another function that takes the state and the action inside this function we're gonna just update our initial state our initial state we have here box it's an empty array okay so let's just add state dot box and it will be equals what it will be equals the data that we got here from that action we have we here return the data okay so here we're gonna equals to action dot payload now to test it we just need to go to our store and add this box slice box equals to box reduce or box slice we have create a, a default export not named export so, so you should remove those curly braces or you are gonna have a problem okay so let's play, press save and go to home screen here we can use our users box from our box here from our initial state initial global state so let's use use selector equals to state of road of type root state state dot box we have here box okay let's just distract it and see what we get here we got here the box okay so now let's try to render those box here inside this flat list and see our app that's our app let's press save we don't have anything i don't know why let's try to log those box to see what we get here and see in our log it's oh it's an empty array because we didn't dispatch our action yet you have to dispatch your action so we can dispatch it using any button or we can dispatch it using use effect hook so let's use use effect hook and just dispatch get box action and let's just press save the box data is undefined why it's undefined let's go to our box action because we forgot to add here await keyword i'm always forgot to add this await await keyword because we use async we need to add await sorry for, for that mistake so let's press save now we have here our list of box that but we have another issue because we didn't complete our use effect please make sure you add this empty array to make that effect run one time not a lot of times okay now when we press save we got our list of box the name the price the image and the author name i know maybe this lesson is a little bit hard don't worry if you see that lesson is hard or something in next lesson i'm gonna recap that lesson that action and the reducer and don't worry it's gonna be easier than before thanks for watching see you in next lesson